Um, in order to use a mail merge, first you have to collect your names and addresses, phone numbers inside of a, um, an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to show you what that might look like. I'm opening up mail merge recipient list. So the first step is to collect all of your, again, names, address, city, state, phone numbers, email addresses, whatever you might want uh, about people into Microsoft Excel. Once you have that done, then you can close out. To use mail merge, um, number one would be to open up the mail merge letter document, mail merge letter. Click the mailings tab, go to start mail merge, and choose step by step mail merge wizard. Since we're going to be working with a letter which we have open right now, we're going to choose letters and then we're going to come down to, this is step number one of six, so we're going to click next uh, starting document. And then we're going to use the current document, which is this document here. We're going to hit Next. And we're going to use an existing list. And that list is from Microsoft Excel, the list that I showed you before with all the people, addresses, phone numbers. And then we're going to browse to go ahead and get that list. When you click Browse, this data source window opens up. Go ahead and navigate to Day 2 Lessons, and we're going to pick out the Mail Merge Recipient List, which is the Excel sheet that had all of the addresses of the people that you know you put in there. We're going to choose Sheet 1, and check this box because the first row of our data contains column headers. Click OK. And now you see all the people that were within the Microsoft Excel spreadsheet. Click OK, and then go to Next, Write Your Letter. Okay, now I'm going to add an address block to the letter. So I'm going to click where I want that address block to be. So the cursor is blinking here in the top left corner. I'm going to click on Address Block, and it wants you to choose what format you want the names to be in. So I'm going to go with the suggested format. And you can see what each of your um, addresses are going to look like by scrolling through each of these. So make sure that you can see all of them and they're correct. And then click OK. The word address blocks or the words address block pops up here, which just means that the address will be inserted here when you print all of your letters. I'm going to go ahead and add a greeting line right here. So I'm going to put my cursor right above the first paragraph and go to greeting line. The greeting line is going to say dear, their name, and a comma. And then you can preview what they're all going to look like. And then you're going to click OK. The words greeting and line um, are now posted right where it's going to say dear whomever on all of your letters. So let's see how this looks so far by clicking the next step which is preview your letters. This shows you that the address is in there with Mr. Jones's greeting line. You can see all the recipients and how they're all going to look when you print them. And then finally, we're, it looks really good, so we're going to say complete the merge. Okay, and your letters are now ready to be printed. And the last step is to print. So I'm going to hit the merge to printer, hit the print button. And if you want to print all of your letters, just this one current letter, or from you know only certain letters that you want to print, I'm going to choose all, click OK, choose your printer, and then click OK, and your letter should be printed out um, one at a time with an address and a greeting line.